Today we're gonna break down the Phytech versus the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4. We're gonna talk installation, we're gonna talk price, we're gonna talk customer service, we're gonna talk about all the things that you need to know if you wanna buy one of these systems. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we are making your Bronco, your dream Bronco. Hey, if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and talking the EFI tech for, you know, the classic car community. Today, what we're gonna talk about are two EFI systems that are on the market today and that I have both personally use. The Phytech 600 horsepower and the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4. Now, before I get into this, uh, this is gonna be a long video. It's just gonna be me talking, so I apologize. But there's some really good information in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the time code for where I talk about what down in the description below. If you just wanna jump into horsepower or if you just wanna jump into price, check the description out below and click uh, the little time stamp. Now, a lot of you have seen my Phytech videos and you've watched me as I have tuned my Phytech and I really got it at a place that it was really fun to drive and it was a great EFI system. Well, Edelbrock saw them too and uh, they said, hey, if we send you one of the ProFlow 4s, will you do a video on it? So I just wanna be clear that Edelbrock has sent me this unit but with that said I'm not holding anything back so you can take this with a grain of salt or you can believe me because I have installed both of these units I have run both of these units so a little bit of history before we go into this uh, first I had the Phytech Go Street EFI uh, it was the 600 horsepower unit even though I was making 140 horsepower but it was the 600 horsepower because that had all the features unlocked but the handheld controller went out on the, the unit, the little thing that you can program stuff. On my small block Ford 302, I put in a new camshaft uh, a few months ago, but because I didn't have the handheld controller, I couldn't really change any of the settings. Now, it still ran, I still got to drive it, and, uh, and I got to see feel a little bit of the horsepower increase with putting in a new camshaft, but Ultimately, I called Phytech and they said I needed to send the unit back to them to get worked on. Here's what I suggest. I suggest we go ahead and get that unit back here with all the handles and cables. And now in that time, Edelbrock had contacted me and said, hey, we would love it if you would do a video on our EFI system comparing it to what you've learned with the Phytech. So I was like, uh, yes, absolutely. And so they sent me a system. And so when I took my Phytech off, it was just super easy to pull everything out and install the Edelbrock. Now, if you haven't seen that video, check out the installation. I definitely had some issues. It wasn't Edelbrock's fault. It was more my fault trying to use the Phytech fuel pump and it just wasn't made for the Phytech fuel pump. So even though I haven't run the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4 as much as I ran the Phytech, I still, I've been to Knoxville and back twice since I've installed it. I've driven around a ton, sat in traffic, I've sat in the heat. The only thing I haven't really done with this is driven it in the snow. Everything else I have done with the Edelbrock and so that's why I'm making this video now, the comparison between the Phytech and the Edelbrock. So jumping right into it, what do you guys wanna know? Number one, price. Phytech wins hands down. Like there is no uh, debating that the Phytech is cheaper, but with the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4, you get an intake manifold, you get the distributor, and you get a tablet if you so choose, like I did, because I'm an iPhone guy. Here's the thing, the Phytech, when I bought it, it was right around $1,000. And then I also had to get an intake manifold. And then I also had to get a distributor. And so all of that combined 
still didn't equal as much as the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4. I mean, there's just no way to really put it. Like, the Edelbrock is more expensive. If you do need to get an intake manifold and you do need to get a distributor, then it's pretty comparable, but it's still a little bit more. So you're gonna find out by the end of this video, I really like the Edelbrock Pro Flow. Like, I really, I, even though the Phytech is cheaper, like, the Edelbrock is worth a little bit extra money. So yes, you're gonna save some money if you go Phytech, but if you go with the Edelbrock, you're not gonna regret it. All right, number two, getting right into the nitty gritty, customer service. Now, if you saw my video where I talked about is Phytech worth it, you saw that one of my biggest complaints with Phytech was the customer service, and that has not changed. I know they're trying to get better. When I was putting this in, I just had a couple questions, and so I was like, hey, you know what? I know I'm gonna do the comparison video later. Like, this would be a great time to call Edelbrock customer service. And so I did, and you know what? They had a wait time. I know, it's shocking. All of these companies have a wait time because it just, you know, if you call and seven other people called right before you, then you're probably gonna have a wait time. I called Edelbrock and I'm talking to whoever it was, I forget the guy's name who I was talking to, and like, we just start talking shop. He's like, so what are you putting this on? I'm like, 1975 Ford Bronco. He's like, oh man, I used to love those old Broncos. That's a Ford 302, right? All that. We're just talking cars. I didn't tell anyone that I was Nashville Lily Bronco. I didn't tell anyone that I was putting this on YouTube. It was just, a car guy who wanted to talk about cars. Now, some of you may find that annoying if like you're trying to figure something out and the guy's like, oh, tell me about your engine, you know, but I, it was refreshing to me because I felt like the more information that I gave him, the better he knew what was going on and he could help me with my problems. And then, and then they called me back. I don't know if this is protocol. I don't know if it was just because maybe he figured out who I was. I don't know. But he called me back and he left me a message because I don't answer calls when I don't recognize the number. But he left me a message and he was like, hey, this is so-and-so from Metal Brock. Just making sure that you got everything figured out. What? Pretty amazing customer service experience there with Edelbrock. Edelbrock wins for sure with our number two comparison of customer service. Number three, the user interface. Now what I mean by that is like the handheld controller, the tablet, whatever this unit comes with. <laughs> the Phytech controller, it takes a degree to figure it out. Like it is not user friendly at all. But man, the Edelbrock controller one, like it comes on a Android tablet. It's a cool little tablet like that you can buy extra if you want it or you can use your phone if you're an Android user. It's so easy to use. It's easy to find things and like the dashboard when you just go into like the dashboard mode like it it's it has everything that you want on there and even the instructions when you're setting it up like you have to go through a little setup process you know i had to do that with the phytech i did it with the edelbrock the edelbrock it spells it out okay first you're going to click this then you're going to do this then you're going to start this then you and it's amazing for the like user interface how it looks and functions Edelbrock wins that one hands down. Number four, installation. Now this, I just gotta say it's a tie. Edelbrock has, you know, some weird stuff with the installation. Phytech has some weird stuff with the installation, but when I installed my Phytech, I really, I got my engine, I got my vehicle ready for EFI. That was the conversion. So putting the Edelbrock on there, it's hard to say which installation was easier, which one was harder. They were both kind of different, and I made some mistakes with the Phytech, I made some mistakes with the Edelbrock, I made, I created like a vacuum leak in my intake manifold, basically. But I will say, 
that when I started the Edelbrock up, it ran even though it was having major problems. I feel like the Phytech kind of magnified my engine's issues where the Edelbrock really covered them up. There's like major vacuum leak and it's still just running and just chugging along and my headers start glowing red because it's going way too lean. Installation, it's a total tie. All right, so number five is size. Maybe we'll do that top of the valve cover or the top lip of the valve cover. I'm at really it is seven and seven eighths. So with the Edelbrock, you're looking at eight and right under seven eighths. Now I'm measuring to the top of my air cleaner and this rod now is too short because I cut it with the Phytech. So I actually had to flip my lid over uh, with the Edelbrock. And uh, so that's why I've been measuring to the edge. But even, you know, yours might be even a little bit higher uh, with that. But yeah, I'm measuring from the top of my uh, valve cover lip. So not the top of the valve cover, but where it actually sits on the head, that little lip that it sits on the head, measuring from that lip up to the top of my air cleaner uh, rim here. And I'm getting eight and seven eighths. And with my Phytech, I had seven and seven eighths. So we're looking at about an inch difference. And number six, the thing that I just was so hoping for, and that is horsepower. Now, total transparency. I have not done a dyno test, and I, since I put on the Phytech, so I put on the Phytech, then I put on headers, then I put got a new exhaust system, and I got a new camshaft. So I got those three things before I was done with the Phytech. Then I put on the Edelbrock. Now, I will say the Edelbrock feels like it has so much more power. Getting up into the four, 5,000 RPMs, because obviously this doesn't go much above 5,000 RPMs, it just screams. It feels like there is more power. Now, again, I haven't done a dyno test. I did one with the Phytech before the headers and before the camshafts, and it was 140. And I'm, I'm probably only making like 15 more horsepower. I, I'm gonna do a dyno test, and it's gonna end up being like, oh good, I make, 165 horsepower, but it feels more alive. I've gone to Knoxville and back a couple times now. Uh, I've been working on the suspension over at uh, James Duff. Driving on the freeway, I found myself going 75, which I never do in a Bronco, but like my steering, my suspension has been wonderful like it's been so smooth the t-rex arms are doing great but also what's going on is my engine is just running really well and i definitely i have the 4r70w to install like i need that overdrive uh to really be able to go on the freeway and what's been happening i hate this fuel pump man like if you're getting in either of these systems don't buy the phytech fuel pump my fuel pump has just been dying on me if i run for 30 minutes uh at 75 on the freeway my fuel pump just dies now probably part of it is this bronco just it doesn't it doesn't move heat, you know, like it gets so hot. But I'm interested to see because I have a 23 gallon tank, which I need to install and it has the uh, submerged fuel pump. So I need to put that in and just see like how everything works. The pedal feels right. The, uh, just the acceleration feels right. Like when you stomp on it, it just comes alive. And, uh, and it's just, it's a lot of fun to drive. Now, again, I know it's not 50 more horsepower. Like I know that it's not a ton, but it feels like a lot when I'm sitting there driving around. Like it, it feels great, but you know, see the pants feel is that the Edelbrock has more power than the Phytech. So my final thing that I wanna talk about is just some of the differences. It's not necessarily good or bad, it's just 
The difference is having both of these units on my Bronco and having driven them around for as long as I did. The first thing is the wiring on the Edelbrock sucks. Like, I, I, I don't know how else to put it, like, it just, the wires are everywhere. There's so many wires and the connectors aren't connectors that like you could just put through your firewall. Like these connectors are big connectors. So now I have so much more wiring in my engine bay and I don't love that. But the flip side of that is the ECU for the Edelbrock is not in the throttle body. I know some of you may not even care about that or you don't know what that means, but basically with a Phytech, you have the ECU in the throttle body. So all that heat coming up from your engine was just cooking a computer that's sitting in your throttle body. This is a recipe for disaster. And that's what a lot of you guys who have had the Phytech problems have been complaining about is something went wrong. I mean, I think that's why my handheld controller stopped working was because something in the ECU wasn't working. And so Edelbrock wisely pulled the ECU out of the throttle body and you can put it wherever you want. So much safer. It's just a bummer because there's more wiring and the wires are kind of everywhere. So that was a bummer. And then also just something uh, that's different. The Edelbrock controls the fuel pump by switching the negative side where the Phytech controls the fuel pump by switching the positive side. Some of the other things that I had to buy only because I tried to make my Phytech fuel pump work. I had to get a fuel pressure regulator, which I would not do again. I would just buy an Edelbrock fuel pump. I had to buy a uh, relay switch for my fuel pump because the Phytech fuel pump is more amperage than the Edelbrock fuel pump. So I'll put links to some of this stuff uh, in the description below. Check it out if you are going to buy this and are going the same route that I am, although I don't recommend the Phytech fuel pump. One of the things that I I also did was I put Felpro gaskets uh, along the intake manifold. No offense to Edelbrock, but I'm just, I'm a Felpro gasket kind of guy. And so I went with the Felpro gaskets on the intake manifold. Also Edelbrock recommends a very specific coil and very specific spark plug wires, which I think is really smart because cheap spark plug wires, you really wanna make sure that your spark plug wires are good and up to snuff and they aren't gonna, you know, just mess with the current going through uh, your new EFI system. And same with the coil. You really wanna make sure that you have a good coil with this system. And I know it's like, oh my gosh, like this list is adding up of all these things that I have to buy. And it's true because like the stuff that we're not talking about is the fuel pump, uh, the fuel lines, the fuel tank that you may need. I like, I get all these comments on YouTube. Oh man, I'm just gonna stick with my carburetor. Like I could get a blower motor for that much, like blah, blah, blah. I know, it, uh, yes, it, it can add up. Like it can get expensive, like switching over to EFI but like I've loved it to each his own. Some of you guys are like carburetor tuning professionals. I wasn't and a lot of us aren't. To have an EFI system where I can go high, high altitudes, I can go to the humidity of Tennessee. And so it's really nice to have an EFI system that I don't have to constantly be tuning, but it tunes itself. All in all, I, I really enjoy my EFI systems. I'm really, really thankful to Phytech for getting me into the EFI system for my classic car. I will forever be thankful to them. Uh, and I learned so much from having to learn the Phytech. So putting it all together, I will give it to Edelbrock for the win on this one. Man, the Edelbrock is just fantastic and I really enjoy it. Very long video. Whoever stuck around and watched the whole thing, thank you. Um, it is hot in my garage. You can tell by my under boob sweat marks here. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.